You got clutch. What's going on, people? It's your main man, Johnny Clutch Cards, aka Johnny Clutch Crypto, back at you again with my weekly update on how our helium miner is working. Um, as always, we're going to start here in the Explorer. There are roughly 171,000 hotspots worldwide. The market price has come down on HNT. It's now at $19.84. This is Sunday. Um, and, you know, so uh, it's come down a little bit. But let's see how we are doing here in Houston, Texas. Boom, boom, boom. Let's find our miner. Feel like... Why? Look at that. Lots and lots of green in here. That's kind of neat. All right. As you can see, uh, week over week, it seems like there are more and more miners just in the area. Even if we come out here a little bit, we can see, you know, how, you know, things are starting to fill out here. This is us right here. Able Bronze Tapir. Um, we are at 13.25 HNT over 30 days. Let's take a look here. Our witness list is now eight. Um, we've we've been able to see a lot of witnesses recently um, over the last year. Obviously, we've been stable for now two weeks. Um, I did have another instance where like my connectivity kind of died for a day, um, where it showed an IP address, but I couldn't. I wasn't seeing traffic pass over that port forty four one five eight. So uh, what, I've, what I've done is I have a smart plug. So I put a smart plug up, upstairs in the base, in the attic. And if I see that or where I'm not getting a response with the traffic going through the port, or I notice a few hours have passed, like four or five hours have passed, and I haven't gotten any H&T rewards, then I can just simply from my phone reboot the uh, H&T miner, then verify that it comes up. Once it comes up, I can go back to the site, verify that I'm getting traffic through. Um, and then, you know, we're, we should be all good from there. Um, if anybody has any problems like that, feel free to, you know, drop me a comment down below in the, in the video. And I'll be happy to kind of show you what, um, what, what smart plug I'm using and, you know, what sites I use to test the port forward and make sure that that stuff is going through. I did have some comments down below in some of my other videos about uh, port forwarding. If you're having a problem with that, feel free to leave a comment down below. I've been responding to most people in the comments um, directly. Um, but if you want to see particular pieces of that, like how to port forward, um, uh, how to port forward uh, on your router or your uh, ISP, please uh, just leave a comment down below or shoot me uh, an email or catch me on Twitter or Instagram. I am on both. And, uh, you know, I'll be more than happy to help out. Um, let's go here to statistics. So if we look uh, over 24 hours, we, we've racked up 0.879 HNT. Over the last seven days, though, we've racked up 3.46 HNT, which is you know, a, a nice sum total. Um, if we go here to Hotspotty, let's go to Hotspotty and kind of dig in here. Um, I think how we got selected. Let's take a look here at Hotspotty. All right, over the last week. All right, this is kind of what I want to see. Like if we look over a month, right? This is us back in August 13th. Um, early on, this is us having problems, relay problems. The last few weeks, we've gotten steady, and you can see the rewards have been steadily rising, and kind of leveled off, and kind of leveled off to like a reasonable rate. So at this particular pace, like you know, three to four per week, um, we should be in the you know sixteen, um, twelve to sixteen range uh, on a monthly basis, which is great. You know, I think that's great um, at the current price of HNT. Um, that's a, a few hundred bucks a month. Um, that uh, the the miner will be paid off um, by uh, I would say October by the end of October at that rate. So that's what we're looking to maintain that at that rate. Um, we're still waiting for an update. I believe um, the next batch of uh, the next batch of Bobcats should have our two Bobcats in it. 
So that would be that would be awesome for us to get that and uh, be able to pivot off and get either the rack um, the rack 5.8 DVI or the Nebra 5.8 DVI uh, antennas to go with those and uh, work off some additional locations. Um, at any rate, I mean, I think that kind of sums it up. Like we haven't had a lot of problems recently. Everything has been, you know, kind of working as it should, except for, like I said, that one little problem where like it's still connected, but for some reason it's, it, you know, it's just not poor. The only reason I know that there's a problem is because there's no traffic being allowed over port 44158. If I log into the miner itself, it shows an IP address and connect it. If I log into the router, it shows that it's there, and uh, it it shows in the uh, in the MAC table, the MAC address table too. It's just that for some reason it won't work, and it and it won't work until you reboot the router. Or I mean, not reboot the router, reboot the miner. Anyway, if this was helpful to you, um, if this uh, if you found any kind of value out of it, whether it's entertaining or it was just helpful helpful information please like share and subscribe to the channel the video there'll be more stuff coming obviously i'm covering a lot of content um a lot of stuff going on i got <laughs> cards going on nfts and sports um you know fantasy football things of that nature a lot of different stuff going on on my channel and uh you know if you like any of it just you know like like it if you don't like some of it let me know you don't like it that's fine too um, at any rate, um, I'm your man, Johnny Clutch Cards, a.k.a. Johnny Clutch Crypto. I am for the people, by the people. You only got me and the Constitution. Remember that.